this week. Vinny De Tomaso and Stephen Rose from The Click. I am Derek Diamante, along with Ron the Legend, and this is the Local Music Show Podcast. And a great big welcome back, everybody, to the Local Music Show Podcast. We are now in our second episode of Season 2. I am your host, Derek Diamante, along with Ron the Legend, bringing you even more great talent from the South Florida music scene. You can hear the Local Music Show podcast on your favorite podcast app or streaming service, iTunes, iHeart, Stitcher, SoundCloud, you name it, we're on it. Yes, the transmission of our very own Infinite Airways Broadcasting Network is not limited by distance measured in miles. Oh no, our reception radius is truly infinite, equal to the wisdom of the show's hosts. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and any social media network you prefer. We're there. And subscribe to localmusicshowpodcast.com to be the first to know everything. And coming up, we have what I can only describe as the funniest interview I've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the amazing frontman and guitarist of The Click, Vinny De Tomaso, and Steven Rose. And I'm telling you, if you're driving, you might want to pull over to laugh. And for our weekly ritual of weekend planning, here is the Ron the Legend with this weekend's performance schedule. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekend Update on the Local Music Show podcast. At Square Grouper this weekend, you can see... Tonight, the Sierra Band at 8 p.m. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., Rob Arendt. Tomorrow night, 21 to Burn at 8 p.m. Saturday afternoon at 3, 432 Vibes Band Duo. And Saturday at 8 p.m., Big Medicine. Also on Sunday at 2 p.m., you can see the Honey Hounds. Staying up in Jupiter at Double Roads Tavern. Tomorrow night at 5.30, Jake Wales Band. Tomorrow night at 8.30, Slam Allen. On Saturday at 5.30, Jeff Preen. At 8.30 Saturday, Albert Castiglia. And on Sunday, Pro Jam Jazz Session at 4.30. Come down 95 to Lake Worth on Friday at 5 p.m. at the Rum Shack, Michelle Wolf. Also on Friday at 9.30 p.m., Poor Life Decisions. Lastly on Sunday at the Rum Shack, Jeffrey James Harris Duo at 4 p.m. Staying in Lake Worth at Matthews Brewing. Tonight, Rosaria Craig Trio at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, Crazy Train and Friends of the Show at 8.30 p.m. Moving down to Lantana, the old Key Lime House. Tomorrow night, Friday, Mike McCleary Duo begins at 4 p.m. At 8 p.m., Sean Rosario Band. On Saturday at 4 p.m., Jute Huffman. And at 8 p.m., Francine, all at Old Key Lime House in Lantana. Staying in Lantana at the Hive on Saturday. Last Flight Out begins at 10 p.m. Moving to Boynton Beach, the Fish Depot on Friday. Big Jam Theory featuring Big John Harden on tenor sax and Carl Schmidt on violin. Also in Boynton Beach, Two Georges. Friday, the Killbillies duo at 5 p.m. Saturday, Diogo Das Virgins at 4 p.m. And Sunday, Bruja at 4 p.m. On down to Deerfield Beach at the Wyndham Resort, you can see Rob Arendt play solo tonight at 7 p.m. Down to Pompano Beach at Gallupi's tomorrow night, Friday, True Rumors and Friends of the Show. Our tribute to Fleetwood Mac begins at 7.30. And on Saturday, Blues Brothers Solo Band and ZZ Top Experience at 7 p.m. Our featured show of the week is Big Jam Theory at the Fish Depot tomorrow night at 8 p.m. featuring Big John Harden on sax and Carl Schmidt on violin. Come on out and support our featured band of the week. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you out there. We all need musical instruments and accessories. Sam Ash has the top brands like Fender, Gibson, Ibanez, Marshall, PV, and also school band instruments from the nation's largest family-owned instrument dealer, Sam Ash. 
Exclusive offers for Local Music Show podcast listeners. No promo code needed when you use the Sam Ash links at our website, localmusicshowpodcast.com. And we are with Vinny Di Tommaso, Stephen Rose from The Click. Fellas, what's up? What's happening, Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us, man. It's awesome. Thank Thanks for so having much, us. Yeah, man, no, thanks for being here. Woo! And the Ron, the legend, is there. I'm here. Hello, Mr. Ron. <laughs> so you guys are from South Florida. Tell me, where could we find you guys at? Well, um, we, we play pretty much, uh, we play the... Uh, yeah, Mara City Place and all the way down to Hollywood. So pretty much, like, still with the Hollywood. Um, mm-hmm. um, and everything in between. And, and we're um, available for bar mitzvahs and birthday parties. <laughs> weddings. No, no weddings. Mitzvahs only. But now I am... And blah and box, <laughs> but um, and you know you can check us out on Facebook, of course. K L I K is how you spell it. The click K L I K. That's right. And um, come on over and like us, please like us. How are you guys enjoying the South Florida winters down here? Not long enough, man. I'm telling you, Not enjoy it because. We've had like two days so far this year where we weren't sweating. I know. That's I, fact. I love the cold. I love the cold weather, man. It's just not long enough. It really isn't. Yeah. Just to, you know, you, you get a little taste, and all of a sudden, it's back to the uh, the devil's anus. So. <laughs> I still, I still take it over just about any place else, yeah. though. So, not much to complain about down here. Oh, yeah, well. but it's still better than being up north. That's for sure. With what they're that's fact. <laughs> what they're well, dealing I'm, with. I'm half Jewish. I can always complain. I don't. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's like a sauna in here. Turn it off. <laughs> so you can find. You can always find something to complain about. <laughs> Uh, you I, got tell my, I tell my daughter. Quick. I always tell my daughter. I always tell my daughter. I'm like, "This is a no whining zone. Go in the other room. No whining zone." <laughs> <laughs> this gig is great. This is great, Steve. What do you th- forget it, Steve? I don't want to know what you think. <laughs> oh, you you think it's great, huh? You think it's great? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Come here, Steve. Don't you think it's great? Don't ask me. Don't ask me what I think. Don't ask That's me. Vinny. That's Vinny. How it is. <laughs> yeah. This is paradise. Yeah. Okay. So who? Okay. <laughs> you mean paradise lost? Are we talking Dante's Inferno? What are we talking? Milton? Okay, I'm, I'm the wrong guy here. I hate the beach. I hate the sun. I hate the, the freaking. Air. I swear. I hate the heat. Uh, not That's an friend. amazing tan, though. <laughs> yeah, I have a great tan. Yeah. I'm like the Jewish vampire. <laughs> you can hide behind a milk hey, bottle. Oh, day. I want to suck your blood. Oh, day. Oh, day. Anyway, so what, what musical thing did you want to ask? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is about the click. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. I suddenly forgot. <laughs> <laughs> What yeah. what are some of the songs that you guys play? What can we get a, a a flavor of your song list? Yeah, we run the gamut of genres. Um, everything from Stevie Wonder and Bruno Mars to mm-hmm. Soundgarden and STP to uh, Rage Against the Machine and Elton John, you know, Audio Slave to oh, back to Audio Delta and John to Neil wow. Diamond. To, you know, so we're all Beatles. over the place. Yeah, Beatles. Beatles. Uh, yeah, every- not not so much of the classic rock, although we'll put it, we'll pull it out if if need be. We we do tend to try to get people dancing and staying dancing. Yeah, yeah. We we try, we you put twi- we you will do Black Eyed Peas. We do, but we do we we put a twist yeah. on stuff. We mm-hmm. put a twist. Yeah, we keep it rocking. You know, you always have that backbeat of a good rock. There you go. Song, but they're dancing, everybody. Everybody, dancing. everybody in this band is from original background. So when we came into like playing covers we kind of mm-hmm. we kind of think a little different than not not to say people that play covers don't write or anything like that but we're we we came up doing original right. so it was like when i went to covers i kind of thought about them a little different of like you know when you hear songs that people have done you know for you've heard for the last 25 years mm-hmm. and you put a little twist on it i think people dig that they're just like wow i never heard it played like that before sometimes you'll get like you know i never even liked that song but the way you guys play it Right, you made it really, you made it really saying, fun and cool, you know. So 
that, that, hey, we should be in a band together, bro. That sounds awesome. You know, that's maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I was just thinking about that. I was going to suggest yeah, that. Yeah, but and I think I think I, I think I think that's what m- makes us a little different. Not that we don't try. We do. I mean, there's some stuff when we play newer stuff. We pretty much try to tailor it to how it goes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean that, and, and and we still keep the element of the song. Like you still recognize the song, whatever. It's just it's got more maybe of a modern twist, or maybe we take a dance tune and mm-hmm. rock it out a little bit, like our our Black Eyed Peas stuff. You understand? They still dance to it, but we definitely put a rock edge to it, you know, and um, things like that. And I, I think musicians dig us that way too. I think a lot of musicians like us because we do that. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah, we do medleys, rather... mashups, rock song, and make it dance. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I guess. Yes. Yeah. If you can take a song from Russian people and make people dance, then you're doing something. I haven't done that one yet, though. I told you, I hate Florida. I hate the weather. I hate the sun. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I hate yeah. questions. I like questions. I wish I could answer answer them. You know, kind of straightforward. I just kind of go off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's boring. Yeah. yeah, I know. This car does not go straight. <laughs> right. This answer will not be curt nor succinct. This is a Stephen Rose answer. Hold on, <laughs> kids. <laughs> Hey folks, I want to take a quick moment to say thanks to the team at our sponsor, TicketNetwork.com, who have generously provided us a customized search widget for the exclusive benefit of Local Music Show Podcast listeners. Use the Ticket Network search tool at LocalMusicShowPodcast.com to find concert tickets for top headliners as well as local and regional acts. Visit LocalMusicShowPodcast.com, use the Ticket Network search tool, no promo code needed. LocalMusicShowPodcast.com and Ticket Network. How long has uh, this lineup that you have currently been together? So this lineup may will be one year. Well, may will be one year with this current lineup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we, well, because we switched drummers, but me, but Vinny and Stefan and I have been together almost two years. Okay. Correct. Two years in June. Two years in June that we've been together. But um, yeah, he's right. We had we okay. we had we had Vinny's brother played with us for a little while, for about yes. five months, and then we put Jojo no, no, in. More than that. What was it longer than that? Wait, December, from, from like June to August, yeah, okay, September, right. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, like ten months. We were almost second right. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, Johnny. So anyway, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. But the 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 yeah. All right. You're right. <laughs> I missed the notice on that. What's your uh, favorite venue that you've played so far? Oof. I, you know what? I'll, I'll answer my way, Steve, and then uh, you, you just you know tell them what you think. It, yeah, to me, it all depends on um. <clears throat> that's the disclaimer on, on, what on type of show answer. That, uh, what type of weekend that's, that we think it's going to be? Because we love Copper Blues and we love the uh, Mecca um, Lounge and Coconut Creek Casino mm-hmm. for the for the stage for the sound. We get sound people working yep. for us and then constant listening and then helping the both venues do such an amazing job. And we're behind the stage, so it gives it that. Um, the, the aesthetic of it is, hey, we're up here and check us out, and it's more theatrical, which is a great spin. But then, um, gosh, I miss Johnny O'Brien. <laughs> I love that place <laughs> because it, it's not really this theater. You're in the bar and people are in your face, mm-hmm. and um, you're, you're right there relating with them. I'd have to say, Hurricane and Del Rey does that the best for for me. Well, mm-hmm. because uh, yeah. for me, you know, because yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, right yeah. there and. And, and you know people can sing with us and, and put the microphone out there and they're just right in your face and and uh, that's a more intimate setting. So depending, I suppose, on uh, what Monday through Thursday brought. Um, so it's not the most difficult question. It's just I I don't have a single answer to it. So when it comes to the the one feeling of being more theatrical, that's a toss up between the Copper Blues and Nectar Lounge at Coconut Creek Casino. And when it comes to that intimate feeling, man, I love hurricanes. I love every place you play, but uh, it's just something special. Hmm. Something special about those places. Yeah, I, I have to yeah, agree with is, you on Copper Blues. There's no one favorite for any of the uh, the bands that, that we uh, interview on the show. It's just yeah. uh, all different experiences. They all provide something that's enjoyable. And, it's, and you know, one thing in common always is is crowd participation. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, think, I, I think for like the most, if you wanted like people watch and get kooky and you want to be in the, in the, in the thick of it is probably briny for me for like, like, just like, oh, I mean, yeah. it's just down and dirty, man. I mean, you're like <laughs> right there. You, 
right like in the corner. I, I love that place smells, too, man. Yeah, you smell the shitter coming out with the food. <laughs> and the people are like, the people are like, people are in your grill and they're. They're like dancing. It gets off the chain in that place, man. But I mean, it's, 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 it's that one is like people just get spooky, man. I mean, in Brian. Has anyone seen my mic stand? Has anyone seen my mic Oh my god! Dude, no, you're not kidding about that. That place. It's on the one, beach, man. I would. That one to me can be the most fun and then the most aggravating at the same time. I can understand that. <laughs> It, it's I'm so telling, tight. I, I'll have a blast in that place, and then and then you can just it can turn instantly just from it's just crazy. But it, oh, we I have like to, the, yeah, we, like we've had some bad things happen afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like, and I'm not blaming the blind because it's it just it's on the beach, man. Oh. And it's just right there, like where people are just straggling around and they straggle in, and it's a yeah, yeah. We've had some horror shows after yeah. after some of our shows, but, it, but, I, but it's been fun too. It's been fun. At oh the yeah. Time. And then Hi, um, me? I like Copper Blues. We, we we tend to do well there, but mm-hmm. I don't like the load in at Copper Blues. Boy, yeah, <laughs> some yeah, of, yeah. Some of totally that, agree. Some of that, some of that is 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 is, is part of whether I like the gig or not. I is agree. Is, right, guys? <laughs> I so, agree with so you on that. That elevator's working, right? <laughs> Sometimes the load ins are just so horrific; it makes the gig not. You know. You yeah, like no, man. Could, my load is you know, terrible. You know, like the stages could be awesome and you could have like the greatest sound, but like the load and you're just like, Oh my God, I hate yep. the lo-. Like you dread loading in and you dread unloading while you're playing. You're like, God, I love it here, but Oh my God, now it's the last song. Oh, now we got to tear down. Well, you know, and, 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 you know, I was talking to, um, to some guys from an, from another band and it had played copper blues and, and after the show, what the bass player was taking his rig down the escalator and lost control of it. Oh and, my uh, God. The oh. entire ring rolled, rolled down the escalator. Oh, my God. He oh, went down the escalator. No. I never used the escalator. We used the Ever. elevator. We used the elevator oh, all the time. I would never oh, use the escalator. God. A oh, bass rig. Oh, my God. Dude, he's lucky he's alive. Man. And, and the yeah, other, the other, and the other things that make or break your gigs, too, and, and we don't, and um, we happen to not be a band with a PA, so we, we, we have a guy that we hire to do our sound, mm-hmm. you know, and, and a lot of guys do have their own PA, and, 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 and load ins with a PA, and I, I've been in bands where you load in and with the PA, and and, that, and that's that's really tough too. When you got to bring the whole circus show, that that's rough. That's yeah. rough, man. With the PA and everything, you know, with some of these load ins you got to do. And I'll tell you what, the old the old hard rock when they had the old hard rock, um, you know how they're rebuilding it now. To, I, I, the way they designed that place is most of the places had no PAs, and you would load in. I played at a place called, I don't know if you guys remember, a place called, it was called Automatic Slims. And it was oh, my so, gosh. With Bob's Big Boy was, outside. <laughs> it was so far away from where you loaded from your the stuff in. Oh, you wow. yeah, the PA the hallway. Oh, my <laughs> No, not a hallway. You're rolling, you're rolling it through the people while they're walking. I I should I wish I wish I'd have known you. I'd have shown you a much closer way. Right, <laughs> right by night and there's a hallway. You just you park right there and you go right through the hallway, you walk about thirty, forty feet, and you're there. Oh, oh you yeah, should I, have I, known I, me back then. I missed a notice on that one, sorry. Yeah, there was, a, was a memo. Yeah. No, there was a memo. Somebody I left you out. Yeah, it was. How many times has this happened to you? You're trying to find something on TV to watch and out of two hundred plus channels and there's still nothing on. Then you ask yourself, why am I paying for this? Well, you need Roku, the world's largest platform for streaming TV. Convert any dumb TV into a smart TV and access all of the free programming Roku has to offer as well as access your subscription-based accounts such as Netflix or Hulu, not to mention all of your favorite YouTube videos. Watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it. For a whole new TV experience that works around your schedule, visit localmusicshowpodcast.com, click on the Roku images, and select the player that's just right for you. With players starting at just $29.99, you can affordably convert every television in the house. I highly recommend the Roku Ultra because of the headphones jack on the remote control. This is the one I have in my bedroom for late night viewing. Localmusicshowpodcast.com and Roku. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekend Update on the Local Music Show Podcast. At Square Grouper this weekend, you can see tonight the Sierra Band at 8 p.m. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., Rob Arenth. Tomorrow night, 21 to Burn at 8 p.m. Saturday afternoon at 3, 432 Vibes Band Duo. And Saturday at 8 p.m., Big Medicine. Also on Sunday at 2 p.m., you can see the Honeyhounds. 
staying up in Jupiter at Double Roads Tavern tomorrow night at 5.30, Jake Wales Band. Tomorrow night at 8.30, Slam Allen. On Saturday at 5.30, Jeff Preen. At 8.30 Saturday, Albert Castiglia. And on Sunday, Pro Jam Jazz Session at 4.30. Come down 95 to Lake Worth on Friday at 5 p.m. at the Rum Shack, Michelle Wolf. Also on Friday at 9.30 p.m., Poor Life Decisions. Lastly, on Sunday at the Rum Shack, Jeffrey James Harris Duo at 4 p.m. Staying in Lake Worth at Matthews Brewing. Tonight, Rosaria Craig Trio at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, Crazy Train and Friends of the Show at 8.30 p.m. Moving down to Lantana, the old Key Lime House. Tomorrow night, Friday, Mike McCleary Duo begins at 4 p.m. At 8 p.m., Sean Rosario Band. On Saturday at 4 p.m., Jute Huffman. And at 8 p.m., Francine, all at Old Key Lime House in Lantana. Staying in Lantana at the Hive on Saturday. Last Flight Out begins at 10 p.m. Moving to Boynton Beach, the Fish Depot on Friday. Big Jam Theory featuring Big John Harden on tenor sax and Carl Schmidt on violin. Also in Boynton Beach, Two Georges. Friday, the Killbillies duo at 5 p.m. Saturday, Diogo Das Virgins at 4 p.m. And Sunday, Bruja at 4 p.m. On down to Deerfield Beach at the Wyndham Resort, you can see Rob Arenth play solo tonight at 7 p.m. Down to Pompano Beach at Gallupi's. Tomorrow night, Friday, True Rumors and Friends of the Show. Our tribute to Fleetwood Mac begins at 7.30. And on Saturday, Blues Brothers Solo Band and ZZ Top Experience at 7 p.m. Our featured show of the week is Big Jam Theory at the Fish Depot tomorrow night at 8 p.m. featuring Big John Harden on sax and Carl Schmidt on violin. Come on out and support our featured band of the week. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you out there. Okay, and this segment of the Local Music Show podcast is sponsored by our friends at Avas Flowers. But why? Now that Valentine's Day has passed? Well, that's because your anniversary, an important birthday, Easter, Mother's Day, and other personal occasions that you celebrate are all right around the corner, and they'll be here before you know it. And flowers just work every single time they're tried, even if there's no occasion at all. For a limited time, receive up to 45% off, plus free same-day delivery on valid online orders. Go to localmusicshowpodcast.com and click the Avast Flowers images. I had a job offered to me. That's why it's just like, well, I need this amount of money to, uh, a weekly. He goes, well, the job, the job does have potential, sir. I can't live on potential. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are doing it, my joke. Get out of here. I got to beat you. I got to poke your eyes out next. I like the outdoor gigs, uh, places where we play outdoors and where there's fresh air, especially if it's on well, the water. It's, if it's nice out, but when it's hot, it's brutal. Yeah. Well, brutal, brutal. well, here, if it's hot, it's hot inside know, right? and outside. But the difference to me is whether it's going to be kind of indoor and smoky type place or if it's not. Right, dude. It gets so hot here, I get a yeast infection. <laughs> oh, don't mention that. <laughs> oh, Stephen Gross. <laughs> that it. <laughs> Pass me the powder. Oh, I know what this is for. <laughs> you get that lotion. <laughs> Hold on, Eric. Eric. Eric fell out of his chair. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be in really bad shape playing out at Cafe 27 then out there in the swamp. <laughs> Hello there, my name's Shrek. Summer's Eve makes me feel fine. every <laughs> time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I see. I see. Cool. 
Well, if your shows are like this interview, then it's it's definitely got to be interesting, <laughs> entertaining yeah, for sure. Exactly like this. <laughs> Derek Ron are like, I am never going, going ever. <laughs> I can never go. I will play with you in our band, but not that <laughs> click band. <laughs> so I have to do that voice because I can't do your your awesome voice. You got the best voice. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm Derek, sexy Diamante. Oh. <laughs> you like that? Right? <laughs> See, I can't do it. I sound like a like a lion who smokes so many cigarettes. Hello there. <laughs> what other kind of project have you guys worked on besides? Uh, the click. Go ahead, buddy. Start now. No, you okay. do it. You do it. Go. Um, gosh, I was a choreographer for Disney World for a little while. I uh, sang a lot of that type of music. I got into rock and roll because I was told that I couldn't sing rock and roll. So, gosh, from Sugar and Inside Insiders to Big Time Nobodies, which, we, which was a lot of fun of in the early 2000s. A lot of, we played with the regs a lot down in the Keys and uh, got up here a few times. Uh, turned it over into... Fat Monkey, which were together for a bunch of years. We played a lot of different venues with some awesome players. Dr. Dave, Crazy Dave, Brian Hawker, who's the guitarist for um, Bounce. So that was awesome. And then uh, went into Brain Grenade and Three Day Weekend. And Louis from Bounce is my brother-in-law, actually. He was the bass player for Bounce for a while. Mm -hmm. And then um, I had a successful... uh, successful band called Behold the Wolf and we got a lot of national exposure and a lot of songs that I wrote myself and uh, performed Um, sometimes with the guys, sometimes without with uh, my producer Paul Trust we Mm -hmm. gosh, we did NBA championships we did NFL Super Bowls we did commercials, we did a lot of stuff uh, CBS Sports and ESPN Sports so that was awesome That is awesome. and uh, then took an hiatus for a while and um, my brother John was met Steve at a at a um, car wash and got to talking about music. We checked out Steve at a place called the Pirates Well, um, maybe a few days later, which happened to be what, your last gig with uh, with Fall From Grace, right? He's like, dude, this is my last gig. We're like, well, dude, you're the guitarist. You are the guy. (laughs) And uh, he's like, all right, well, let's start. And that's how the click started. And then um, when John had to take (laughs) care of stuff, because he's uh, he's in um, marketing, very, very successful, and they just didn't have the time to play as much as we wanted to play, uh, we got Giorgio Garriga, who was also with Fall From Grace and a lot of the bands. And uh, man, this is one of the greatest greatest opportunities I've had to play with not only great musicians but great people mm-hmm. and what a project man it's always fun it's it's <laughs> there's no stress man but just we concentrate on the music and having fun with that we're not worried about all the baloney that goes around it. Yes, we want to be as perfect as we can be. If it doesn't become perfect, okay, milk at them next time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I do understand you're only as good as the last cake. I get it. But calm down, man. Let the music speak. Let the let the performance speak. And um, never let them see you sweat. Although, man, do we sweat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it gets hot up there sometimes. You're a but, um, but, uh, well, you, could, you left you left stuff in out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I figured that would be your story. You know, that's your son. Well, you, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> All right, well, you go. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you go. <laughs> All right, you go. No, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Localmusicshowpodcast.com Well, since I'm the oldest, it's going to be a little longer. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'll be back. i got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> go to the bathroom, guys. I'll just keep talking here. Fear break. Oh, man. And in 1973, <laughs> actually, well, I can't, you know, I am, I'm a little older than the other guys in the band. So, and um, actually, Jojo, our drummer now, he was with me back in the days. He was actually our drum tech. I was in a band that was signed to Atlantic Records back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, we were locally down here. If the, if the, whoever's listening is a little older, they'll know of this band, Cryer, I was in. Cryer. And we were... Yeah, we were signed to uh, Third Stone Atlantic. Same label mates as uh, Saigon Kick. In mm-hmm. fact, those guys actually were our roadies at one time. So I started back then, you know, with the big hair band stuff and um, did originals pretty much where, where I started was originals and you know, with that, with, with Cryer. And then after that, I mean, I had some little bands before that, you know, garage band stuff, mm-hmm. you know, before that. Um, and then um, we were kind of caught in the whole thing with the grunge scene came and kind of wiped us out. So we got dropped. 
actually before our record came out. So that kind of, kind of going quickly, it was kind of a longer story than that. But anyway, and then after that, I put my own band together in the nineties called baby Jones, which was a trio mm-hmm. and, um, Got some, did some stuff with that and then uh, moved on to, uh, I moved out to Oregon <clears throat> for a little bit and pretty much I got kind of defunct out there, kind of went bankrupt out there. It was hard to find work and stuff. I actually had an audition for um, Our Lady Peace that never happened because I couldn't have, didn't have enough money to get up to Vancouver for the audition. Oh, no. And came back from Oregon and was trying to put my other band back together again, the baby Jones band again, and we didn't have a drummer. And so the bass player and I kind of got approached to like, Hey, you want to do some covers with this band that was down here? And we're like, I don't know, man, I'm not in the covers, you know, this and that. So Mm -hmm. we started, we were like, let's do it. I was thinking, I was just figuring, Hey, if we do covers, we'll run into other musicians and maybe we'll find a drummer, you know, just get back into the groove of meeting people. So um, we did that and we started playing in this band that got, was doing very well here uh, for a while um, back in the mid two thousands, mm-hmm. and um, um, <laughs> I remember the first gig, and we're just like they're splitting up the money, and the the singer put, she puts she puts like a hundred and almost two hundred dollars in my hand, and I go what's go this oh it's the it's the band money, and I go oh do you want me to divvy it up? She goes no that's your cut, and I was like what? <laughs> yeah that's your cut. I was used to doing you know original shows and getting like three bucks at the end of the night. Oh wow, you know, three dollars. <laughs> three dollars and they paid they gave us like three beers and everybody got three bucks in the band you know <laughs> so i was like wow i'm getting paid for the, to do this i was like so that's how i kind of fell into the covers and then how much was gas and milk back then we're in the middle of the <laughs> mid two thousand. yeah yeah exactly so um well, he was around when he milked his own cow yeah. 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 <laughs> then that band that band dissolved and i was and i was just like well i got used to doing the covers and i let you know i, I got used to having that extra money it was came in handy and um that band broke up the, the singer and the guitar player were getting married they left blah blah, blah left me in the lurch i was like well, what do we do now let's try to put a band together so I put a so I put a cover trio together. We were called the Novas, and mm-hmm. we, we did pretty well down here in, in this in the South Florida scene uh, with the cover thing. We did a lot a lot of like B side stuff and a lot of really cool stuff, and did it like kind of like approaching the covers and doing them like like a, like we would with originals, doing old song songs like you know doing songs like the Vapors, like the, I think I'm turning Japanese and really mm-hmm. cool songs like that. That other that's kind of how we we originally met, but we just didn't really yeah you know, really too. know each other. Yeah. We kept on rubbing elbows when you were with the Novas. Yeah. So um, yeah, anyway, um, I did some other stints with some uh, recording and stuff. I did some touring with some band that was a hired gun as a guitar player for some bands that were on tour on Denver. I did watch some members from White Zombie. I went out and toured with this heavy band for a little bit and got hired to do some showcasing with other bands around here. Um, anyway, it led up to other cover bands. So I went from the Novas and, I, and then I turned it into the Death Valley Daredevils. And then I ended up playing with, uh, I ended up playing with uh, Far From Grace mm-hmm. and then um, lead, it, lead it into the click that I'm doing with Vinny now. I'm in an uh, original band now called the Number Thirteen. We've been together about. They're awesome, years. so they have to know. Yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. yeah and we and we've been doing we've done tours with uh with with Kiss and Skid Row and Lit and uh, Night Ranger and some you know <clears throat> bands like that that we've been out with and we a couple times a year we go out and do like you know like go out and do a, a go out for a week do a, do a tour come back go out and support or we'll do our yeah last stuff. last year dude you were in New Orleans right and you no, were at Revolution yeah, with the Bullet Boys and yeah wow yeah we were at Revolution with the Bullet Boys Great White and then Ups and Up and then uh I did. Uh, yeah, went to went to Nashville and Nashville. did some support up there. And whatever. So I, I just want. I mean, I'm sorry. I keep rambling. I don't like to. I don't like to put it all out there. You know, honestly, like I did this and I did that. Whatever. <laughs> ultimately, we're all we're all playing yes. on the same stages around here. Yeah. You know? We're all playing on the same stages here. So nah, whoever I'm standing to on, on stage is just as good as me or done. Well, I'm matter. proud to be next year. That's why I want you to mention. Oh, uh, you're, so like, yeah, so you're so sweet. That's my dude. That's my dude. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it. I could go on and on, but. Please give it up for Vinny DiTomaso and Steven Rose of The Click. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show with us and giving us such a good laugh. And if you have not had a chance to see them, you must go see The Click. You can find them on Facebook, on Instagram. They're good guys, and they're great at what they do, and they're an awesome part of the live local music scene here in South Florida. So go check them out. The Click, everyone. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and listen to us on your favorite podcast platform. I am Derek Diamante, along with Ron the Legend. This is the Local Music Show Podcast. Have a great weekend, everyone. Mm-hmm.